part of the PPC transformation team, in particular procurement, enterprise and supply development. I had a presentation prepared, but uh, after being inspired this morning, I thought that the presentation is actually not fitting for the conversation that has started out. Transformation, and I'll just give a couple of, shall I say, takeaways from what I've heard this morning. Transformation should not be fashionable. There should be collaboration across the business spectrum, innovation, positive discussion, real change. We are 25 years later and we're still talking about real change. Economic situation, Basil Reed, Esau, Lavero, construction industry in turmoil. Yet, we're still sitting with having the conversation, what should be done? The opportunities are bountiful. With every crisis, there's an opportunity. We have, in my view, probably the best preferential procurement legislation in the world. Mining charter, revised codes of good practice, construction sector charter, so forth and so on. Yet, and I speak to you today, being a recipient of a multitude of requests. And the request normally starts out as, how to become a vendor. That's the wrong conversation to have. It's the last conversation that will have you an opportunity to do your two-minute elevator speech. What are your value propositions? What are your innovative ideas that you bring to the table? How are you going to contribute to that specific sector in terms of a microeconomy? What are you going to do in terms of skills development? These are questions I pose back to you in general. Not specifically to the BBCE, BBCBE today, but to any potential supplier. There are a multitude of funds available in terms of enterprise and supply development. The last thing to do is to just close your eye, write the checkbook, and not think of it of the sustainability and the consequences thereof. There has to be targeted intervention, sustainable intervention. We have one of the highest Gini coefficients in the world. How do we re address the imbalance? our business literacy amongst our emerging suppliers, we need to address it. Sending people on training, on training, on training, does nothing for their livelihood, does nothing to the dignity that it needs to restore of somebody waking up in the morning, having a purpose, contributing, contributing significantly and meaningfully, not just to the economy, but first and foremost, to the family unit. Our social compact we heard this morning has been destroyed. Yet, we maintain the legacy of apartheid. So yes, it is radical, but no, it is not radical. Radical only starts when there's a collective change. As part of our transformation strategy within PPC, is to have a look at targeted interventions interventions that will have a sustainable opportunity and not just offer you a vendor number. That's the last thing on our mind. How do you contribute to decreasing our cost base? How do you contribute to increasing our revenue? How do you contribute to breaking the centralized approach of where funding or spend is concentrated? So this is a two-way conversation and not a one-way conversation. And I've had the privilege and the opportunity to engage the BBC BE youth. And it's a conversation which I've, I'm hoping has inspired a particular thinking. 
It's a conversation I'm hoping that will translate into some different thinking and innovative solutions being presented. So the targets are there. You have to spend X amount year on year. But do we ever step back and say, what was the socioeconomic impact of that investment? What was the socioeconomic impact of that grant? Those are the questions we need to ask ourselves. How do we change the perception? We heard earlier of a Mercedes or BMW economy. How do we change it to the Datsuns, to the VWs? We need to change the approach of how, in my, in my perspective, how corporates procure. SMMEs are labeled inefficient, are labeled do not understand, but there's a mismatch because of the communication. So we have to take time, we have to listen, and we have to actively, actively I say, allow access. So we have been deconstructing our big contracts, splitting them up as it relates to our core business. But we're also seeking active collaboration. Transformation within the broader economy cannot be a one organization perspective. We need to collaborate with industry, collaborate with government, collaborate to a particular point, maybe with other suppliers. So actively within our pro preferential procurement strategy, you are obligated from a contractual perspective to change the face of your organization. It is beyond just having a look at ownership. It is who are the management, who are the decision makers, and what value proposition do you sustainably bring to our business? And that, ladies and gentlemen, I thought is a far better conversation to have than standing here and said, we've done this on enterprise development, these are beneficiaries, these are our suppliers. That is part of the course. That becomes the output. But we need to give effort, we need to give energy to the input. The dialogue needs to shift away from I need to, to how can I contribute. Opportunities are there. Opportunities are there a plenty. As I said earlier, and it has been mentioned before, with every crisis there's an opportunity. Thank you very much.